in a world often dazzled by appearances, Marcus Aurelius reminds us to tread carefully amidst the allure of pride and outward displays. Picture this. You're engrossed in what seems like the most important task. But that's precisely when pride can sneak up and cloud your judgment. Marcus suggests a simple trick. Look beneath the surface. Whether it's that pricey bottle of wine or the emperor's majestic robes, strip away the facade. It's not just about material things. Marcus urges us to examine people's ruling principles. What are they avoiding or pursuing? Imagine bearing someone's soul. What makes their heart beat faster? When facing criticism or admiration, ponder whether their disdain or praise really has any power over you. It turns out, impressing others might not be as crucial as we think. So, the next time pride knocks, look beyond the glitter. It might just lose its grip. Welcome to the abyss of wisdom. Look beneath to see things for what they truly are. Ever wondered if that luxurious item is truly worth the hype? Marcus Aurelius suggests a remedy. Look beneath the surface. Take expensive wine, for instance. It's just glorified grape juice. Those regal robes, just wool dyed with shellfish blood. Now, Extend this principle beyond material things. What about actions and behaviors? Peeling back these layers can loosen their hold on you. Marcus goes deeper, asking us to examine the ruling principles of others. Even the seemingly wise picture a soul laid bare. What sparks love or admiration? When faced with insults, analyze the insults. This practice reveals that impressing everyone isn't a must. So be genuine. Speak the truth kindly. In Marcus's world, the key is looking beyond the surface. A truth that goes beyond wine and robes. Examine men's ruling principles. Ever wonder what makes people tick? Marcus Aurelius encourages us to dive into the motivations and values steering individuals, including the wise. Picture stripping someone's soul bare, exposing their true essence. The key lies in understanding the ruling principles of those around you. What drives them? What do they avoid or pursue? Consider it a soul stripping exercise. When critics hurl insults or admirers sing praises, evaluate their essence. You'll likely find that impressing them is less crucial than you think. Recognize that in this tapestry of humanity, understanding the ruling principles of others offers profound insights. And remember, beneath every exterior, there's a deeper truth waiting to be uncovered. Recognize material wealth. Material wealth. Is it a blessing or a curse? Marcus Aurelius has a refreshing perspective. It's neither. In a world fixated on possessions, he challenges us to rethink the concept of goods. Possessing too much might not always enhance life. In fact, it could complicate it. So, what are our true goods? Marcus points to virtues, the compass guiding our actions. Respect your mind, value virtues, and find satisfaction within. Sure, material wealth can be a helpful companion, but don't let it dictate your freedom. It's not about acquiring everything, but using what you have unapologetically. Embrace it, but be prepared to let it go. This isn't about despising wealth or clinging to it. It's about mastering its hold. In Marcus's world, material wealth is a tool, not a master. Use it wisely, and don't let its allure shackle your spirit. Express gratitude. Picture Marcus Aurelius the Roman Emperor, listing things he's grateful for in his journal. Now imagine weaving gratitude into the fabric of your life. Learning in youth, character development, enduring labor. These are not just chores, but treasures. Marcus finds value in charity, humor, and the pursuit of knowledge. Embrace freedom of speech and mend relationships. 
Hold steadfast in purpose and let self-control be your ally. Express gratitude, not just in words, but in actions. Be a beacon of steadiness, deflecting distractions. In a world clamoring for attention, Marcus teaches us the art of being present. Gratitude for him isn't a fleeting emotion, it's a way of life. So as you navigate the labyrinth of existence, let gratitude be your compass, guiding you through the twists and turns of life. Use of material wealth. In the symphony of life, material wealth plays a note, but it's not the entire melody. Marcus Aurelius suggests a delicate dance. Use material wealth unapologetically, but be ready to release its grasp. It's a tool, not a tether. Imagine possessing without letting possessions possess you. Sounds like a paradox. Marcus doesn't think so. While some crave wealth, others recoil from it, burdened by guilt. Marcus steers a middle course. Use it wisely, but don't let it define you. Treat what you don't have as none. Existent, but cherish what you do. It's about finding balance. A rhythm where you appreciate your possessions without being enslaved by them. In the grand theater of life, be an actor, not a captive. Use your material wealth as a prop, not the plot. In the end, it's not about what you have. It's about how freely you can let it go. Learn to want little in a world urging us to want more. Marcus Aurelius stands firm. Learn to want little. Picture a life unburdened by insatiable desires, free from envy and fear of loss. Wanting little doesn't mean settling. It's about appreciating what you have without overvaluing it. Marcus challenges us to scrutinize our cravings. What if you lost what you cherish most? Would it be devastating or could you gracefully let it go? Learn to revel in self-sufficiency where your contentment isn't tethered to external possessions. It's a subtle dance. Balancing satisfaction and detachment. In a culture that often measures success by accumulation, Marcus invites us to gauge it by our freedom. Wanting little isn't a mark of scarcity. It's a testament to inner abundance. Focus on virtues. In the realm of virtues, Marcus Aurelius places his bet for true wealth. Respect your mind, prize virtues, and walk the path of character, generosity, charity, humor. These aren't just admirable traits, but treasures to be cherished. Marcus paints a portrait of a life adorned not with material opulence, but with the jewels of character. As you navigate the labyrinth of existence, keep a compass of virtues. It's not about accumulating possessions, but enriching your character. Marcus beckons us to express gratitude, not just in words, but through actions that resonate with virtue. In a world often blinded by external glitter, let your virtues be the light guiding your way. For Marcus, true wealth is found not in the coffers of material possessions, but in the treasury of a virtuous soul. Freedom of speech and peace. Amidst the cacophony of voices, Marcus Aurelius champions enduring freedom of speech. Picture a world where dialogue flows freely, opinions clash harmoniously, and minds meet without chains. Marcus extols the virtues of steadiness, self-control, and a resilient spirit. Be a beacon of peace in the storm of conflicting ideas, valuing the freedom to speak and the wisdom to listen as you navigate relationships. Let the compass of respect guide your ship. Steady your purpose. Shield yourself from distractions and welcome the serenity of inner peace. Marcus, the stoic maestro, orchestrates a melody where freedom of speech harmonizes with the tranquility of a peaceful mind. So, in the marketplace of ideas, let your voice be heard, but let it resonate with the melody of peace. 
graciousness and indifference. In the tapestry of human interactions, Marcus Aurelius threads a needle of graciousness and indifference. Imagine receiving gifts not with arrogance but with genuine gratitude. Picture a life where honors, though acknowledged, don't define your worth. Marcus invites you to walk the tightrope of dignity. Free from pretension, be indifferent to the superficial accolades, letting your actions speak louder than empty praise. In a world clamoring for attention, Marcus teaches the art of self-control, steering clear of distractions and constant correction. Be a beacon of respect, whether to teachers, friends, or children, embodying unfeigned love. As you navigate the labyrinth of human relationships, let your graciousness be a balm, healing wounds and fostering goodwill. For Marcus, it's not just about talking about the good man. It's about being one in every gesture, every word, and every silent expression of indifferent dignity. If these insights spoke to you and stirred the philosopher within, consider joining our community. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a dose of wisdom from the great minds of history. Don't forget to ring the bell. It's your key to unlocking notifications and staying connected on this journey of self-discovery.